G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. No sooner had I showed you build 174 than 175 has been released. So you're going to have to go without a 174 changelog and gameplay video and help yourselves instead to this build 175 changelog gameplay video in which I'm going to talk about some of the major changes that have happened in build 175 and some of the gameplay aspects, some of the performance aspects. The big performance thing is that build 174 had a server memory leak and this was caused by entities that flew too far outside the game world. This has been fixed, here is the proof, playing on a server right now. And I'm going to bring up the changelog now for us to have a look at. It's a big one, despite this being an only a one-day patch. A one-day patch, and it is full of bug fixes, so it's very exciting to have a double patch week. And uh, there is that bug. Outside 10,000 meters, uh, when an entity... Entity went outside 10,000 meters. It caused a huge server memory leak. That is gone. The game is back to being playable completely. Servers do not crash out because of that anymore. It is live on Steam, so go download it. If you haven't bought the game, you can still buy it and get access. But uh, I'm going to look at some of the more major parts of this changelog now. I can't look at all of them, obviously, because uh, there's too many. But uh, I'm going to start off with doors. Doors are now unlockable Unlockable by Marines. So I am walking up to this door, pressing E. It was locked. It unlocks. It allows me to walk through and behind me it will lock again, playing its lock animation and going red, indicating that aliens cannot pass through it. So that's pretty cool. It means that you no longer have to wait for the command to unlock doors for you. You're now capable of doing it yourself. And next up is... What am I looking at here? I'm not sure. I just cut this video together three seconds ago and I cannot figure out what I was going to look at. Oh, yes, I remember now. Power node. So let's say you've just fought through alien expansion and you run into repair room and bang, you just happen to be in time for Skyobotic there to take out a power node. That was really lucky timing by me because I wanted to record this. And I come in here and this skulk tries to kill me, so I'm going to skip through that. But look at this. Tempest and I run up this power node and bang, we start repairing it ourselves. Marines are now capable of repairing power nodes themselves, just like they're capable of opening doors for themselves. This is very exciting. You do get a bit of lag in build 175 when you do this, some sort of graphics lag to do with the sparks coming out of the lighting or something. No doubt it'll be fixed in 174. You're also capable of doing it to undead, uh, non-dead power nodes, so you can repair damaged power nodes back up as well. So that is very exciting, not having to wait for Max to do that for you. Now, Skulk stickiness has been significantly increased. It is really cool. It's hard to convey how much easier it is to do this when you're just watching a video of me doing it, but definitely have a go and look at the ease with which I'm running around this map all over the walls and ceilings, and it is very, very cool. It allows you to jump in and attack Marines from unexpected positions much more easily. Now, check out this armory. Look at it. Here we go. It has the advanced armory addition on top of it. This is now back in. It uh, was glitched out and wasn't showing for many, many builds. It is back in and here is the weapons module on top of it. So now that's cool. You can tell what an armory is without having to get the HUD overlay up. Now another change is alien structures now build more smoothly. Previously they had a bit of a glitchy uh, stat stuttering look to them. They, they now build perfectly smoothly whether they're drop by a gorge or the commander. So that is very cool. It gives them a much more organic look and is generally nice to see them growing so smoothly. So that's a very cool bug fix. You can tell I'm just so excited about Build 175. Can't wait to get you a full game commentary. Don't have time to do it now, but uh, I will do in the near future. Moving on now to performance talk. Just in general, I've made this point before in some previous videos, but I wanted to really ram it home. To record this video, I normally use the graphics card on top, which is an ATI 5870. This video is being recorded on the graphics card down below, which is a GTS 450, a far cheaper and less powerful card. And so the point is NS2 performance is getting much, much, much better now in these later releases, and it is very exciting. And I just wanted to really push that point home by actually showing you the hardware so to prove that I'm not talking out of my ass. So uh, as I was saying, I can't bring you a uh, full gameplay tonight because I do have to go. And I'm out of time, but I will bring you one in the very near future, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I think Build 175 is going to be one of those patches that sticks around for a week or two, and it is and is eminently playable, so I'm really looking forward to bringing you a lot of gameplay from it. It was a whole lot of fun to cast this gameplay changelog video, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.